someone is dumping hundreds of millions of dollars into the open market guys this is the gbtc chart and this just reached an all-time low in terms of this discount and why is this important for the crypto space well this is actually something a lot of people are not thinking about i'm going to go through it i'm going to let you know what you need to pay attention to right now i'm going to go through the charts everything you need to know, the price models from Willy Wu, what is the bottom price he is predicting. I will show you this. It actually gives us a very good clue as to what's next for Bitcoin. This one does as well. Where are we right now in terms of what we usually see in the bear market? As well as something very interesting, Coinbase actually came out and uh, put shade on USDT. Is USDT on danger? Well, this is something we are going to be talking about today as well. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And just like I talked about in the intro, we have a lot of things to talk about today, but let's kick it off here on the daily chart for Bitcoin. You can see that we've been going sideways for quite a long while already. For two weeks, basically, we've been ranging in between this like $16,900 and $17,200 range. So, yeah, not much has happened here for Bitcoin on the daily time frame. For traditional markets, though, we did go up. We did hit this resistance level at 4114 Then we started to go down. And that happened exactly at the same time as I also talked about the DXY hitting my support level down here. And that how we were going to see a reader in the traditional markets as the DXY had a bounce. Now, we did have that bounce. We went actually slightly above this uh, orange line here on the DXY and then started to go down again. And then with that inverse correlation, of course, the traditional markets started to go up as well. So you can just see how the traditional markets, when they go down, obviously, or usually the DXY goes up. And when the DXY goes down, in usual, the traditional market goes up. And also Bitcoin tends to follow the traditional markets. So this is why it's important to keep track of all of these charts because they all play into what's happening in crypto. But let's get into some more broader strokes here. And what you can see from Willy Wu, he has these price models with on-chain data. And basically what this is suggesting is that the max bottom for Bitcoin, according to the max pain model, this would sit at $13,000. Now, $13,000, if you watched my video from uh, two days ago, I did talk about this orange box here at $13,000 as well, how this is probably not something we are going to uh, get lower to. I mean, if we uh, break down from this uh, upper level at 16,500, I do think that $13,000 is the max we can go down to. Of course, anything is possible in crypto, but with all of the information we have at hand today, I'm not expecting Bitcoin to go down below $13,000. So these are the models. You can see how it has been performing previously. You can see the kind of a cloud right here, dipped into it in the bear market of 2015. And you can see here in 2019 as well, um, COVID crash. And we are right here right now as well. Now, the price uh, is a bit higher. This is probably the one uh, which is the $13,000 uh, level. So you can see it right here. Have this one right here. And this is actually where we are at right now at $16,000. So these are the price points. Willy Wu does not believe we are going to go lower to according to these models. So let me know down in the comment section, do you think that these models are correct or do you think that we are going to go lower than these? So before we talk about some very important stuff here moving forward, guys, quick reminder that you are still able to take advantage of massive bonuses here if you want to sign up to exchanges. OKX, very transparent with their customer funds. We're able to see everything they have. Same with Bybit has actually also been transparent in that regard. So $10,000 on OKX, make sure to sign up using this link right here so let's talk about this i actually made a video a couple of days ago where i talked about someone dumping hundreds of millions of dollars into the open market you can see the video right here and since that video we've actually seen people dump even more gbtc so you can see that the premium right now for gbtc is at minus 48 percent approximately meaning the bitcoin they have in their trust which is about $10 billion, almost $11 billion, it's actually traded at a massive discount. And what this shows us is that people do not really trust GBTC right now, and people just want to dump it even at a massive uh, discount compared to what it should 
actually be worth if you look at the Bitcoin that is back in it. Now, the thing is that you cannot take Bitcoin out of this trust. This is a closed trust. You can trade it on exchanges, but you cannot take out the actual Bitcoin. So in a sense, it's a good thing because it's locking up uh, about 632,000 Bitcoin, which is a a sizable chunk of the circulating supply available right now. So in a sense, I mean, it's taken away the supply, but here is the danger, okay? And I want you to pay attention to this because if this continues to go down very low here, people are going to lose a lot of trust in GBTC. And what they could actually start doing then is that they simply pay out the dollar value to all of the GBTC holders. So since this is at a 40% or let's call it 50% discount, let's say you hold uh, GBTC uh, at a value of like uh, $1,000. Now it's trading at a 50% discount. So what Grayscale could do is that they just close this trust. They pay you $500, which would be the dollar value since uh, $1,000, it's trading at a 50% discount. So they would give uh, that $500 and then they could dissolve this fund, taking those Bitcoin and probably dumping it into the market. Now, I don't know how likely this is. I'm going to do more digging in uh, if that could actually happen because from what I've seen based on the surface level research, that could be something that they would be willing to do because basically if they dissolve the fund, it would basically make almost uh, $6 billion in, in straight up profit here since it's uh, worth uh, 10 or $11 billion, but it's trading at a 50 uh, percent discount. So if they dissolve the fund, they take out the Bitcoin and start selling the Bitcoin, of course, um, that would uh, be uh, not so good to have this enter into the circulation. On the other hand, when people start to realize that they could actually be doing this and when they start to do, get this in motion, the Bitcoin price would probably go down. So guys, I'm not trying to spread FUD here. This is just a thought that I have and I want to, of course, give you my honest opinion and my fears I have in the market. I want to be 100% transparent about what I am thinking about myself. So I am going to do more digging into this. I'm going to give you more information as always. And if they were to do this, this is not something that would happen over the course of like a month or two months it would probably take you know a year for them to actually get this in motion but still this is something i will be keeping my eye on and especially also keep your eye on this discount because someone is dumping gbtc like crazy right now this is why the premium is going down let's continue this is a chart from tecta where he shows us the uh, bitcoin price which is in orange you have the chinese 10-year treasury bonds meaning this is the amount of interest you get paid on chinese treasury bonds and you can see something very interesting and that the bitcoin price correlates very well in history with the chinese 10-year treasury yield so you can see that right here we did have a top in the bonds you also had a local top in bitcoin we formed a bottom you can see this trend line right here form a bottom and then from this point we start to go up you hit the top in the chinese 10-year treasury bonds same as with bitcoin Okay, we hit that top, you do have this trend line, we start to go down again here as you can see. And then once we break that trend line, we start to go up, we hit a top here, correlating with the treasury bonds. Again, trend line on the way down here, hit the top, bottom, top, correlation is very clear. And right now, did we see the same thing here? Because we've been breaking out of this trend line, was this the same kind of bottom? Well, it remains to be seen. But that's not all, guys. I want to show you the yearly sum of realized profit and loss. So this is an on-chain visual of the realized profits, meaning when uh, someone has been selling at a profit and when someone has been selling at a loss. So what you can see in the previous bull and bear market, we had about $117 billion in profit in 2017-2018 and we had $56 billion realized in losses. So what you can see here is that this is basically a 50% of what the profits. So basically you have half as much losses as you have in profits. And what you can see here in 2022 as well, we had $455 billion in profits, about half of that in losses right here already. So in other words, if we see the same kind of correlation as you saw previously, having 50% in losses and um, double that amount in profits, well, we are at the point right now 
in which we would start to see Bitcoin go up. That's not all. Let's look at the amount of drawdowns we usually see in every bear market. So you have in green, the bear market of the first cycle. You have in blue, the bear market of the second cycle. And then of course you have the current bear market cycle. And in usual, we do see us bottom in this general vicinity. So what you can see here is that we went down here in green, the first halving, and then this is usually where we see the bottom. We bottomed at uh, in the first cycle here at minus 85%. It took 411 days. In the second cycle, we bottomed at minus 84% or 85 in the first, 84 in the second. It took 364 days. So a bit less of a drawdown, a bit less of total time here. Right now, we are at minus 77%. So it's not too far from the previous uh, bottom in terms of drawdowns, and then 365 days. So, of course, one more day than the, this cycle right here. So, we should be in the vicinity of a bottom, guys, but this time could be different. Do you think that this time would be different? Let me know down in the comment section. But according to history, this is usually where we see the price bottom. Finally, I want to talk about something strange. Coinbase, their official account, came out and said, switch to a trusted stable coin. USDD coin. Now convert the Tether to USDC with zero fees. So Coinbase is of course uh, the junior company of Circle, or I think that Circle is a major uh, investor into Coinbase. Circle is the issuer of USDC as well. Um, but this does not look good. It also looks desperate. Makes me trust USDC a little bit less, to be honest. Um, so the founder of uh, Tether came out and said, or replied to a comment here, talking about uh, why Coinbase actually came out and said this, and how it seems that Coinbase wants to take all my USDT and give me crap USDC. Now the founder of uh, Tether, as you can see right here, CTO of Tether I should say, uh, said you are living in year two, uh, 3000, meaning he's looking into the future. So yeah, very strange thing right here between Tether and, and well, basically from Coinbase and USDC, why they would come out and bash Tether like that. It's not something you usually see from companies like these. Finally, uh, the SEC has told US listed companies to come out and say uh, and reveal if they got any damage from crypto uh, in terms of um, yeah collateral damage from the FTX drama and so on. So hopefully we can see some more disclosures here uh, regarding which companies have actually been suffering due to everything that's been happening. Guys, that's what I got for you. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I will see you in the next one.